Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is stop talking about sex before you even meet someone. Of course, sex is super important in a relationship. We all know that. But let's figure out if we're even compatible with someone before we're talking about sex. This is happening way too much online right now and people are getting very frustrated by it. When you start initially texting somebody, maybe you've met them online and you're having these back and forth situations and these sort of flirtatious texts and then all of a sudden they get a little bit more out there, a little bit more flirty. And before you know it, after the second or third text, you're now in a full blown sexual flirt or flirtation conversation. And this is not a good way to start anything because you have to get to understand if there's even a connection. If the priority is always talking about sex, that's where the priority is. That's where it lies, which means that's how you're starting your connection with them. Now, if you're on an intimate dating site, that's completely different. We're not talking about that. There's a lot of people who are just into having sexual hookups and that's cool. That's their choice. We're talking about you're looking for a partner. So if that's the case and you're looking for a long-term commitment with somebody, allowing the sexual conversation to happen before you even meet them is a mistake. There's a lot of catfishers out there. There's a lot of people that are sending nude photos of themselves. They haven't even met the person. This boggles my mind that you're, somebody would be that free to give themselves to a person they've never met. There's a lot of situations that are dangerous. And if you're too free with how you are, sexually speaking, with your body, with images, photos that you're sending, you're setting yourself up for a situation that's never going to be anything more than that. I have spoken to some women who have felt pressured when they're dating online, especially, that they have to be a little playful this way. They, they have to engage in this sexual conversations. You don't have to do anything. Don't ever feel pressured. That is the first mistake that people make is they feel they have to be this person or they're going to lose the, the guy they're talking to. Let them go because if somebody's on a dating site and they say they're looking for a relationship and a potential partnership, they're not going to want to do this right away because they want to know their substance in the person they're choosing to be with. They don't want somebody that's that easy to give sex away all the time. And I know that there's guys out there who say, well, I'm not going to stick around. And I've talked to some of them. I'm not going to stick around if she's not going to have sex with me fairly early on. I want to see what I'm getting. We all know that sex in the beginning is great. But that's all it is, is just sex. And when you have more of a commitment with somebody or there's more chemistry or there's feelings involved, we all know that sex is triply better than that. So that's actually not really the best answer that I would be looking for if I was a guy. I would want to have a chat with a woman to see if there's compatibility and see if there's a connection, an attraction, all those things but you've got to meet the person first. This dating, uh, texting online and getting into the sex talk right away is to me, it's just really a waste of time because do you really want to be with somebody that that's all they think about? That's not a good sign. If you are someone who who's, has been feel, feeling pressured to sleep with somebody, maybe you've had two or three dates with them and the old three date rule still sticks in your mind, do what makes you feel good. If you have a super huge connection with somebody, you've spoken to them for a month or so, you've had about three or four dates with them and you have a great connection and you are talking about things, sort of things that maybe seeing each other again and all that sort of stuff. Use your own, own decision there on what you want to do moving forward, but do not feel pressured that if they're, if you don't sleep with them, they're going to leave because if that's who they are, I seriously advise you to let them go because that's not the whole thing about being in a relationship. If, if it's all 
the priority is all about sex to them, well, that's what it's always going to be. And I know these men that I have spoken to have told me that they have sex quickly and then it usually wears off a little bit and they're not as excited to see that person anymore. So they go in and out of relationships constantly and doing the same thing. Well, while that might be good for them getting, you know, a little bit of sexual gratification, how good is that long term if they are eventually looking for a relationship? So make sure when you are on a date or you're talking to somebody that that's what they're looking for. You want to know that that's the end goal, that they are looking for a partner. There are also a lot of people who love bomb out there, which means they say all the right things. They get you feeling like, oh, you're sexy. You're the only one that they say this to, that they talk about a future with you. And you have barely, even, you may never have even met them or you might have only met them a couple of times. Anybody who comes on really hard and really fast like this, they're usually just trying to get in there in it's sort of a manipulative form. You know when somebody's sincere. Don't get caught up in just hearing what they have to say. Make sure their actions and who they are follow along with some of these compliments they're handing out. Because as I said earlier, there's a lot of catfishers, there's a lot of people just looking for sexual gratification. And they're pretty easy to spot if you pay close attention to it. So what do you do if you're really liking somebody and then all of a sudden it, the conversation steers continually towards sex? You feel like you've started to have a bit of a foundation, but now it's getting more on the sex talk. Just say to them, look, I'm really interested in, in this connection I have with you, but I just feel right now that I'd rather stay away from this kind of talk until I get to know you a little bit better. I want to find out if we do have anything that's worth exploring here because you're going to end up in similar relationships or situations over and over again if you don't find some boundaries and stick to them. If, if you tell somebody you're not interested in doing that right now, but you are very attracted to them and you do feel a connection and they don't want to stick around, well then you'll have your answer because you're giving them the okay that you're interested, but you're just not ready. And they should respect that and they should acknowledge it. If they don't and you still feel pressured, please walk away from them. I, I know the odd time these things can work out, but it has to be reciprocated. If you're both into this and you're okay with it, that's another story. But if you're just getting to the point every time with somebody and you're having these same people doing the same thing to you, you might wanna look at the people you're attracting, change up your profile, maybe it's saying something a little bit like maybe you're more free spirited in your profile and people are picking up thinking you're maybe you're sexual. Whatever it is, really dissect it and just look and see what's happening here. Maybe because you're allowing them to talk this way sometimes to you, you're attracting the same similar types again. So if you stop, put some stops to certain things that you don't like and you're feeling really uncomfortable with, your dating life will be so much better because you're making changes. You're not allowing things to happen that you don't respect because what you're looking for ultimately in a partner is somebody who does respect you. You don't have to say these things too. And as I said earlier, sometimes if you end up in the be in bedroom too quickly with somebody, it fizzles out really quickly as well because they got what they wanted and they're on to a next conquest. And there's women like this, there's men like this. It's not just a one sex situation, but if you're looking for a potential partnership, you've got to make sure that you have your boundaries in place and don't deviate from them, especially in the first month or so if you're talking to somebody. And please don't text somebody for months before you meet up with them, especially if they live in your city. This is another red flag and something you need to pay attention to because when people have a connection, and they're talking to you, they want to meet you. They want to see you. And this is really important to grasp and to understand. That is what a part of dating is all about, is not sitting around waiting for six months for them to finally ask you out. When you take the time to get to know someone, 
it makes the foundation so much stronger because you build a comfortable trust together if you should decide that you are ready to be in an exclusive situation with them. There's not a lot of questions because you've respected each other throughout the whole process and that's what you want. That's what you're looking for. So even though it might feel like you're, you're going like this all the time to each person because they're talking about sex and you just keep removing yourself, the more that you push these situations away, the less they will come your way. Because now you know what to look for. You can read between the lines on their profile. You can read between their photos and see what they're all about because that gives away a lot of information as well. Please don't get yourself stuck into a place where you're feeling bad about who you are. You're feeling insecure because you're meeting people like this. Make sure that you do your homework to move on and find a better place and a better fit for you. There's nothing wrong with saying, yeah, I just don't feel a connection and move on. It's that simple, but we make it complicated and it doesn't have to be. Thank you so much for listening to Dear Cyber Sue. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. And if you have any show topics, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave it in the comments section below. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.